Before I get into this tutorial, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Seriously, it really does mean a lot. Plus, we just hit 10,000 subscribers in like 4 months, which is crazy. The reason many of my videos are able to get like 100,000 views in less than a week is that those of you guys who are subscribed watch my videos right away and you comment and you like them and you share them. And so I really just want to say that I'm super thankful for all of you guys. Seriously, you're amazing. All right, enough of that. On to the video. I realize that many of you guys already know how to hit power clears off of the wall. My guess is that a lot of you can do it, you just probably aren't all that consistent, or you really only try it when it's a very simple shot. I'm sure also that some of you have never done this, which is fine too. It's really not all that complicated, you just have to work at it, and once you get it, it's pretty simple. My goal here is to help you get more consistent and learn how to pull the shot off from basically almost anywhere, because this is really an important part of higher level Rocket League. The best way to hit the ball far and with a lot of speed is to do what is called a power shot. This is where you dodge into the ball and time your shot so that you're hitting it right after it bounces. It takes some practice to get the timing down, but once you get it, it's really pretty simple. This shot can actually be done from the wall as well, and it's a great way of clearing the ball out of your half. As with a power clear from the ground, positioning and timing are everything. Sometimes you'll be too far away from the ball's point of impact with the surface, so you'll need to fly out from the wall to get a power shot. There are also situations where you have plenty of time, and you actually need to slow your car down to hit a power shot. Really, the only way to improve at shots like this is to just practice it. So I've made a playlist of 10 different wall clears that progressively get more difficult. The code can be found in the description below. Work on hitting the ball to different parts of the field, and really try to get your timing down, so that you're putting a ton of power on the ball. One way to practice your timing is to just drive into the ball without jumping or dodging and see if you can get a power clear that way. If you can do that consistently, you should be able to do a normal power clear. Apart from that, you really just have to practice this. I'm going to end this video by going through the training pack so you can have an idea of how these shots are meant to be done. 